Hi, my name is Sheila Hill. I'm an intuitive life coach and a spiritual guide. Today I'm bringing you a video that is actually an analogy to help you um, find some higher dimensional perspective in taking the judgment out of the journey when it comes to relation to your relationships, to your relationships with yourself, to the relationships with your family members, your extended family, your friends, and your social media. I really hope that this helps. So if you looked at the entire journey that we as a collective of inhabitants of high dimensional beings in human bodies are having here on earth, the ascension from the three, third dimension to the fifth dimension is really just like a 50 lane highway. And that highway is going to the same destination. We're all going to the same place. The journey from 3D to 5D. Now, if you and the 49 other people that you associate with or engage with or in relationship with, including your social media, we're all on this highway. You perhaps may perceive yourself today to be in the left lane. Smooth sailing, straight, you know where you're going, you know how to get there, your car's packed with snacks and gas and you're all topped up and ready to go. And then there are other people, the other 49 people that you associate with that are also in their own lane, all on the highway that's going to the same place. And perhaps someone close to you gets a flat tire and they have to pull off to the side. And another one is stuck behind some construction vehicles. And then maybe there is a car that's broken down or someone that you know that's on your highway with you that has to get off at the next exit to use the restroom or get some snacks or food. There's no judgment in any of those perceived events. It's just hey, we're all going to the same place, we're all headed to the same destination, everybody's in their own car, and we're all gonna get there when we get there. And some people, and you may perceive that as being you, will just go straight there. And there will be other people that's gonna hit every red light, every traffic stop, get a flat tire, have to pull over so their kids can go to the bathroom 50 million times. There's going to be people that have that journey and that's perfect and okay and right and divine for them. So when we bring that concept to our understanding of our relationships, let's not judge that some people haven't even left the house yet and that some people seem to be taking the slow route. And some people are taking every damn detour that there is available and it almost seems like it's deliberate. And that there are other people that you look at in envy and go, why does it seem like they're always in the left lane? They're always going on the smooth sailing lane to get there. Let's take the judgment out of all of that. Let's take the judgment out of who's awake and who isn't, who's gonna get there and who isn't, how it's all gonna unfold, who knows. Let's just take all of that out of it. Stop self-judging that you may be the one that has the flat tire some days or that you're the one that has to get off the highway completely and just take a break. There's nothing wrong with any of that. Your journey and how you get there as well as everyone else's journey and how they get there is all divine and perfect because we're all going to the same place. So don't judge yourself. Try not to judge others. Please don't judge those that haven't left the house yet. Those you may want to call the unawakened. Don't phone them and phone them and phone them and phone them and say, have you left yet? Have you left yet? Have you left yet? I'm already a hundred miles in and you haven't even left the house. Don't do that. Because there's something about them having not left the house yet that is integral to their divine timed journey. Perhaps they haven't left home yet to embark on their journey in this 50 lane highway to 5D because there's something integral about being at home right now in the environment that they're in and the collective energies that we're in right now 
that is perfect for them. Perhaps they're afraid to get in their car and embark on the journey, and that's okay too. And perhaps they know that the journey's coming and it's gonna be big and it's going to be maybe bumpy and they're gonna hit some weather conditions along the way that, oh, they know they don't wanna to have to face. So they're just choosing to stay home for just a little bit longer. But I guarantee you most people that we perceive or you may perceive or anyone may be judging someone in their life that hasn't left the house yet, hasn't left the house because it's not their time. It's just not their time. They have a time set in their phone that says at four o'clock next Sunday is when they're supposed to pack up their car and get on the road. And you phoning them and them hearing about all these other stories about all these other people that are already on the highway is not going to change that. Their alarm will go off when it's their time. So there is no judgment in who is where on this 50 lane highway or 25 lane or 300 lane, depending on how many people you have in your life. There's no judgment to any of it. And we start with not judging where we're at. It's okay to get a flat. It's okay to change lanes. It's okay to get off the highway when you need a break. It's okay. And while you make it okay for yourself and hold yourself in compassion and love and know that you are on the highway, you are able to extend that same compassion and love to others. So fall out of resonance with some, some people. Maybe you're really close friends because you're on the same part of the highway driving and waving to each other and going, isn't this cool, isn't this fun? And then all of a sudden, something happens and one of you falls out of resonance with the other and you're no longer driving, you know, head to head with each other, waving to each other and having fun anymore. Let's not make up a story or judge whether you were right or they were wrong or, you know, we too quickly as humans fall into that space. Oh, well, they're not as awake as I am or I wish they'd do more of their own inner work or whatever. Let's not make up a story about it. They got a flat tire. They got a flat tire and that just meant that they fell out of resonance with you or vice versa. And there needs not be a story. This is how we navigate this space that we are in as a human collective from a higher consciousness, from a more fifth dimensional space, by just being like, I'm on my highway lane, I'm doing my thing. When I can be in the left lane and have it be go, 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 that's what I do. But you know what, there's days where I just need to pull off to the rest station, get a drink, collect my head, go to the bathroom, check my phone. <laughs> there's some days where that's just gotta be okay too. So I hope this analogy helps you navigate your space with yourself and with others, particularly in your relationship with social media right now. But I know that a lot of you particularly navigating this, being at home more than usual, or also navigating this space with ones that are very, very close to you. And I hope that this message hits home, that everybody is on the right lane and we're all going to the same place. Just some days, it's going to be a bumpier ride for some and some for others and sometimes it's you so until next time much much love to you from my heart to yours bye for now